Hey loves and welcome to a new video. This is Chantalier and my name is Chantal. I am a qualified personal stylist. Today I am doing my body shape video, a video that's been highly requested on my channel. We are going to be covering all seven body shapes, key features of each body shape, how you're going to find out which body shape is yours. Body shapes can change over time so don't be scared if we go through this video and you think oh I thought I was that and actually I'm this. Obviously we all go through changes in health and so forth and these things can change over time. Just in terms of my background I qualified a number of years ago at the NHJ Style Academy so I trained one-to-one -one with Nikki Hamilton Jones. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my past experience all of the hero pieces each body shape needs in their wardrobe, those key items to avoid, to stay away from at all costs, and some celebs that you can look to to get fashion inspiration for based on your body shape. And in my experience of working with clients, doing wardrobe consultations in their home, taking them on personal shopping experiences, it does start with knowing your body shape for how to dress so we can clear out some of those old pieces that you don't need and knowing what we need to find. It's really important on starting your journey in terms of defining your body shape that you recognize as women, we all hold weight in different areas so we're gonna have different proportions. Each one of these body shapes will have different areas that will flatter the most and some areas that we want to camouflage or conceal to create what we aim to create in the styling world which is an hourglass silhouette. It's the most womanly, the most curvaceous and potentially the most um, desirable in the body shapes of all. Starting with the hourglass. This body shape has um, even shoulders to their waistline. It has a really defined waist. They tend to have a full bust and generous thighs and the key to this body shape is working with that waist and really wearing fitted items that give definition but also play to the proportions of its natural silhouette. This body shape needs to avoid bagginess around the waist area particularly. The hero pieces for the hourglass are wrap dresses. They are a great item to show off this body shape and avoid oversizing in the wrong areas. They draw in the waist with brilliant ruching and really accentuate that feminine look of the hourglass shape. Tops with a V neckline or a square neckline. They open up that neckline, really show off the bust area and really develop the curves in terms of the silhouette. Also great for this body shape are jersey items. They just follow the natural silhouette of this body shape, so similar to a bodycon item really. Hourglass body shape can wear most items. We've got to avoid deshaping this item, so hourglasses are great with belted items such as jackets. They are really, really strong. Hourglass looks fantastic in bodycon dresses. Any trousers should be high-waisted and look to tuck in items or do a little cute half tuck because that can really accentuate the body shape too. Avoid bagginess up top because if it is too baggy, it will make the figure look bigger than it actually is. The hourglass can wear items such as skinny jeans, boot cut jeans. It's all about keeping the body shape in proportion. Items such as blazers are great for the hourglass body shape because they put the structure back in the shoulders, which is evening to the waist. The celebs that you can look to if you are an hourglass are Beyonce, who was formerly a pair before children, but is now firmly an hourglass. You can also look to somebody like Holly Willoughby, who is a classic hourglass, has that fuller bust, defined hip and bum area, really pulls off those kind of tea dress, wrap dress looks perfectly. So those are two celebs you can look to for inspiration if you are an hourglass. Next up is the pear. The pear shape carries their weight in their bums, legs, and hip area. So their lower body tends to be bigger than their upper half. So this body shape tends to buy tops that are smaller and trousers that are bigger. So they say, for example, from a sizing point of view in the UK, they might be a size 10 on top and a size 12 on the bottom. That is a clear way of identifying if you are a pear shape. And the best place to place attention for this body shape is to focus on the upper body. It's the slimmest area, it's the most flattering, and it's an area where we can really have fun and play around with. Body shape often has narrow shoulders, a small chest, slim arms, and a longer body. But one of the key things a pear shape has is a tiny, tiny waist. They have very curvaceous hips and heavy legs. So it's one thing that we, in an area, in terms of below, we need to look to add structure, add definition, have those real firm pieces that give structure in the area, what we really want to um, not draw too much attention to, but flatter with the key items that the pear shape needs. Hero pieces for a pear shape will be 
plunging necklines. The plunging neckline will create length and open up the body shape. Pencil skirts to keep the bottom half streamlined and simple. Skinny jeans are really good for a pear shape because they add structure, definition, and you can put some tough kind of denim in there and um, they're a great like pull-in tool, I find. High-waisted pieces are also great for a pear shape. So they can kind of bring that torso up and then we can elevate that top half. When we're looking at the top half, you wanna be looking at things like ruffles, color, sequins, even things like shoulder pads in your top half are great if you're a pear shape because they will add that evening out. If you look at some of the classic pears, um, that I'll go on to people like JLo, even Beyonce in the early years, what they do well with their costume design when they're performing is they always put detail in the shoulders to even out that bottom half. So yeah, always look at accentuating, you know, halter necks are great if you're a pear shape. Um, anything that's gonna draw attention to those really slim, sleek shoulders is fantastic. Really play around with color, prints, and things like that up top. You can have so much fun if you're a pear shape. The celebs I would say that you would look to are definitely J Lo. She is a classic pear. Another pear shape, if you are a bit older, you can look to is Michelle Obama. So you'll see her wearing lots of tailoring, structured jackets, but doing things really simply down below, pencil skirts and things like that. Great tailored piece to make her figure look amazing. Things to avoid if you are a pear, definitely avoid bagginess at the widest part of your body. So normally that will be your hip and your waist area going into like your upper thigh, don't wear baggy jumpers, shirts that end there. Either tuck them in or wear something more fitted at the waist. This goes for blazers that finish there as well. It will make you actually um, appear bigger than you are in terms of like actually where the attention in, your, in our eyes are drawn to. Also avoid things like A-line. A-line skirts are not good for the pear shape because they push you out in the area that we want to draw in, which is your bottom half. And Empire Line. I always talk about Empire Line in terms of they've got that shape coming under the bust area and then obviously a dress will just flute down. Empire Lines are great if you're an apple, but they're not great if you're a pear shape, simply because you lose your waist. And that's an area we really want to elevate and accentuate. So those are my three things to avoid if you are a pear shape. Moving on to the apple body shape. This body shape is known for their fantastic legs. They tend to hold weight in their tummy area and they can have chunkier arms. They do have a bust. So in terms of dressing this body shape, we need to be really careful in terms of how and where we place fabric. Um, commonly, I would say this body shape tends to need to avoid anything tight in the waist area. So what we look to do is really use fluting and looser items around the tummy area or things like um, tunics that essentially can start from here and they kind of just flow. We definitely want to open up the neckline if you're an apple so things aren't coming up too high uh, because apple can have good bust size. So um, we want to make sure the neck is open overall. So a V neckline is great for this body shape. This body shape is exactly opposite to an hourglass. So where we draw an hourglass in, we don't want to do that with an apple. And one of the key things to do with an apple is to have a great bra. Because of the wider tummy area, what can tend to happen is when we don't add focus in this area, the whole area can look the same in terms of its size and often it's not. Obviously, sometimes the bust area can be small, but what we need to do is have a great bra that's fitted well on the back, that lifts you up, projects, and make sure obviously you're holding firm and we can see some definition and structure in your body shape with a good bra. Hero pieces for if you want an apple body shape are gonna be great tailoring in a blazer. Please be careful in terms of how you choose to wear your blazer. You want something that nips you in at the waist but doesn't fall super tight. This will allow you to wear layering pieces such as chiffon blouses, things that can flute just over your tummy area they're not going to be too tight but you can layer them easy and they will look great with a blazer that will still allow you to have some shape skinny jeans or mid-ride jeans and trousers are great if you're an apple shape because you've got amazing legs and one thing to be careful of with trousers and jeans is don't go too tight if your proportions aren't in line with your top to bottom half um, sometimes the top half can look um, in not in proportion if you do that so one thing to look for is something like a cigarette trouser so they're not as tight as a skinny jean but they just give that more element of structure than a skinny jean would because they'll be a lot more simplistic in terms on the way down than it looking like that and then that if you see what I mean. But some great examples of people that are apple shapes are Catherine Zeta-Jones, she's a celebrity you can look to, 
Also, Meghan Markle is an apple. You wouldn't think she was an apple body shape. She looks very, very slim all over, but if you notice by her legs and some of the elements that she wears around her tummy area, that is an area, you know, pre-kids as well, where you would see her proportions just um, stack up a little bit differently. So if you, you can look to people like that in terms of how they dress and their style, because they will also work with stylists. You want to look for prints all over the body that don't necessarily draw attention to the tummy area. If you look for dresses that have got ruching in the tummy area, they are great if you're an apple, they act as a disguise. And you can also use things like shapewear to really elevate your outfit when you're wearing a dress or something a bit more form fitting if you are an apple. The things I've already touched on is an empire line dress. They are made for you if you're an apple, because as I've explained, the body shape is cut just under the bust area. You can see like this, so it gives you that fluting shape. Other things that are great if you are an apple are wrap dresses, culotte trousers, a few things you need to avoid, polar necks, anything that's going like this that's just going to really make you look smaller in one area and then bigger in another area. Things like chokers, it will do exactly the same thing, choker necklaces. Boxy jackets. Boxy jackets are something that, because they're looser, so if you think about the oversized trend, um, depending on where they fit, they can just make you look wider and wider, when actually what we want to do is give something flattering in, on top of the body shape, but then really nip in with like that blazer look. So sometimes those boxy pieces can actually make an apple look bigger than they are. Another thing that works really well if you're an apple is pleated skirts. They draw attention from the waist and they bring that great feminine style as well. The next body shape is rhubarb. Rhubarb is also known as the athletic body shape. You may have heard me refer to that in my videos. And essentially this is the Model S figure. So their figure looks pretty much very slim, straight up and down. Um, but this is a body shape that actually we need to add to in terms of creating that hourglass classic um, silhouette. Bring some more feminine elements to look because the body shape by design can sometimes in certain pieces look quite boyish. So to create those more feminine silhouettes, we need to add things like texture, femininity, and different tones and things like that. The key features of a rhubarb body shape are long legs, very slim, no defined waist area, a very small bum, um, and a small chest. They have slim hips and a very long body. The key things we need to do with this body shape is add curves. So it's looking at things to create a waist. Jackets are really, really good for this body shape because we can use belting and create a waist. Um, things like puff sleeves are amazing. Think of those Ismael Morant blouses. They really elevate that look. Whilst this body shape can look amazing in a pair of skinny jeans, this body shape, if not careful, if the jeans are too high waisted, it can really detract from having any waist. So I would recommend a mid waist jean if you are a rhubarb, simply because it's not too high and it gives you more of an opportunity to create a waist. Another thing that looks great if you are a rhubarb is skirts. So you can really play around and have fun with skirts. Definitely if they are A-line, it creates that structure and shape of femininity mini skirts, skirts with um, lots of layered pieces like taffeta and things like that look fantastic. There's a great dress that a company called Love Shack Fancy brings out every year. It brings you in at the waist and then it has lots of layered pieces, really elegant, super feminine. And I think this would be a great dress for the summer if you are. Um, and a rhubarb body shape simply because it brings that femininity in. So you can also look at things that are cocoon shaped because obviously if your body shape's like this, you wanna bring things in that are more, a little bit more modular in shape. Things like capes, cocoon shaped skirts, anything that's gonna create some shape. As you'll see when I do my Come Shop With Me videos, um, a lot of the items that I see nipping you in, like dresses that bring in a waist and bring in some ruching at the right area, not a disguise, it's a creation of a waist, those are gonna be great pieces if you are a rhubarb because it's gonna generate something that potentially doesn't naturally exist. So I would suggest that this body shape is all about adding the details. So things that bring some extra fun, some extra shape, some tonality, femininity, print, like you can really play around if you are this body shape, but looking for something extra like a slit in the leg would be great because you can carry that really easily. Celebrities to look to if you are this body shape are gonna be people like Gwyneth Paltrow, definitely, Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber, they are all rhubarb body shapes. They do it very well, but they do add different textures, tones, colors, and really play around with different looks, particularly um, oversizing. And they can do that really well because they can carry the extra weight in their items and actually that shape 
bring, can in some aspects bring them femininity as well. So next up is the strawberry body shape. So the strawberry is complete opposites to the pear. So instead of carrying weight down below, they carry weight up above. So they tend to gain weight in their shoulder area, their back area, they may have a fuller bust area, an arm area, um, and it can be difficult to find a typical dress size if you are a strawberry. The people that you can look to if you are a strawberry are people like um, Charlize Theron, um, Olympic swimmers, people like Rebecca Adlington, Cameron Diaz. What you will note from these body shapes is they have quite slim legs, but their upper half is definitely um, harder and it's not easy to typically style this body shape. You've got to be really careful with where you place colour, where you place focus, but with the right items and techniques you can dress this body shape really, really well. One of the key things when you are looking to dress a strawberry in terms of a dress is you may need to look, I'm not saying sizing up all over, but in some instances sizing up um, and getting things tailored. For example, if they're too small on top but they fit you great on the bottom, that may be an idea or going to a tailor for an item if it's particularly something like a dress. The key hero pieces for this body shape are gonna be softened tops, so like waterfall cardigans, anything like knitwear around the shoulders that are gonna add softening and just make it a bit more flattering. Sleeves are great for this body shape because it brings the eye, instead of being here in terms of focus it brings the eye all the way down if you're looking at items like dresses definitely keep it super simple on top but play down on the bottom so with the dress you can have like loads of floral detail accessories color layering bring the exactly opposite to what we do with the pair bring the eye downwards and really play with and have fun what's going on the bottom same with trousers if you're looking at something spectacular keep it simple up top and really go for it down bottom because it will draw the eye down great pieces for the strawberry are going to be wrap dresses they are fantastic for them really soft shoulders maybe cap shoulders as well fluted sleeves which so just bringing the arm down like i talked about a sleeve and a shirt capes are going to be fantastic because it's softening those shoulders again so it's not drawing too much attention with structure so things like jackets if you're a strawberry shape are not going to be your best friend you're going to need to be really cautious in terms of what types of jackets you buy but also not too much detail on the shoulders like this jacket it's got some padding in the shoulders, I would say, if you are a strawberry to avoid that. Also, avoid double breasting, not your friend, because it's just gonna make you look really full in the whole top half of your body, and we want to avoid that. So moving on to the next body shape I'm gonna talk about, not explicitly referred to as a body shape from a styling point of view, but definitely something I want to share because I know some of my followers fall into this body shape. So it is the petite frame. Petite as anybody I would say is 5'3 and below. Their challenge isn't particularly around their shape, it's more around their height. So there are certain things you can do if you are petite that will really elevate your personal style and really play into um, getting the best out of your outfits. Clothes can often fit poorly if you are petite because a standard size typically will fall too long in the body and can be too long in the leg. So it's really important, subject to where you're gonna shop, that you look for either a petite range or you look at the option to have something tailored. The main issues in terms of what we need to work on is lengthening the body frame. There's a number of things we can do. The first thing is gonna be looking at block color. Having one color basically make your eye go up to down. It won't stop at the waist, it won't stop at the shoe. So if say for example, if you wear a top, top to bottom, if you're wearing like yellow, it will really elevate the length of your outfit. Also looking at things like crop trousers, they're great if you are petite because actually you're showing like a full trouser length but you'll also show that bit of ankle in between your shoe. That will actually lengthen your body. Looking at tops that aren't too long, one of the main things you can do if you are a petite is wear a heel. Heels help us all. I'm not gonna say you only need to wear a heel if you're petite, simply because it supports the way we project how we represent ourselves. It builds confidence and you stand tall in your clothes. And I mean standing tall, whether you're petite or you're, you know, you're six foot, you can still project differently if you're wearing a heel. I know the world's changed in the last couple of years and we're all wearing a bit more relaxed items, but it's looking at things like wedges, even if you're wearing like a cute little blazer suit outfit, looking at things like a platform trainer to make it a bit more fun. And that can really elevate your height in projection if you are petite. So the great things to do if you are petite is remove the fuss, keep things simple. Look at colour blocking items, they are essential, and crop jackets are a fave. Always avoid large prints, avoid them. 
and pleats and heavy pockets, some of these things can really weigh you down if you are petite. And celebrities that you can look to if you're this um, frame are people like Kylie Minogue and Kourtney Kardashian who are all petite but also represent this body shape really well. The last body shape I'm going to be talking about today is the fuller figure. It's not clearly determined as a body shape, but I would say a fuller figure is anybody that would be looking to wear a plus size outfit in terms of where you would typically shop in a store. This body shape will actually carry weight all over their body, normally quite evenly, although there will be differences in every fuller figure woman. So you could definitely be fully figured, but actually typically carry your weight as a pair. That's something you can look out for. The key thing to do if you do have a fuller figure is creating evenness in your outfit. So look at how you can find balance throughout your look. So for example, if you're wearing a wrap dress, how does the skirt fit? Is it even from your shoulder area to your, um, for example, to your knee area? Looking at boot cut jeans because they are great for evening out your body shape. Looking at wearing a chunkier heel, fantastic and just in terms of Things like that really help you um, carry your style. Looking at accessories, like great accessories to wear over your outfits, necklaces, also cute bags. Really getting your accessories on point is something great if you are full of figures. Really figure out what you love about your body shape and accentuate it through your personal style. So I would say find a great store that represents your personality, number one. So you might like really bright, fun colors. Find a store that carries great pieces with your kind of style and really accentuate the areas you want to go for. Similarly, you might like neutrals. Find a store that really does that as well. Be confident and eject a little bit of you. And I would say if you are full of figure, that's one of the main things you can do. Just carry yourself with confidence. Know what looks good. If it's your hair, if it's your accessories, but also loving your style and your personality and who you are. So I think that is a roundup for my Body Shapes video today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've got something out of it, knowing what to shop. I've also got details of where each body shape can shop. If you are a particular body shape, comment below with what you think you are. If there's a video you want me to focus on and I can do more details. I hope you enjoyed my celebrity recommendations too. I would love it if you would subscribe and come along with me on this journey. I have got a whole series coming on how to dress, body shape, styling tips, elevating your style, all things like that, that I'm so excited to film. So keep me on track guys, let me know in your comment and do give it a like because it really supports my channel. And yeah guys, I will catch you in the next video next week. Have a great week.